Hey, what's up guys? This video is going to be on my top 10 tips before competing in your first show. So let's get started. Alright, so number one, starting off, give yourself plenty of time to cut down for the show. So my show was in October and I started cutting around August, so I gave myself roughly three months. But I came into it already really lean and I know a lot of people that didn't. So if you're not leaner to start off with this and you're cutting down, it's going to start to stress you out as the time gets closer and you're going to start to uh, just like change up your macros and just change up all your routines that you're normally doing. So giving yourself plenty of time to cut down based on your body and your body fat percentage is key when it comes to these shows. Number two, practice your posing well in advance. So for me, I practiced posing roughly three weeks out, which was not a good idea considering this is my very first show. Um, normally, I mean, I think people start way further out than that, but when you get on stage, it's honestly so much different than this practicing by yourself and just kind of having it as like a, you know, secondhand nature, just being really used to it is going to be extremely beneficial and could help you potentially place better. Okay, so my third tip is to simulate a mock peak week a few weeks out before you show date. And the reason for this is because during peak week, especially for me since I didn't have a coach, I was kind of just on edge about a lot of stuff with like sodium and carbs and I wasn't really sure exactly how to fluctuate them to look my best on show day, which was Saturday. So if you kind of like plan it out in advance and you just do like a, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you just do like something similar to what your actual peak week will be like, it'll give you a better idea as to like, you know, how much you need to eat to fill out or if you should, you know, keep your sodium consistent or whatever you need to do. But that's probably my most important tip is to just really have like everything down for peak week because you will start to second guess yourself during like different days if you just don't look good one day and you look better the next day. All right, tip number four is get to the show early for the competitors meeting, especially if it's your first time. Kind of getting there early and just kind of like feeling it out is gonna help bring your nerves down a lot. It's gonna kind of just help to get your mind straight. I thought the competitors meeting was pretty important just because it kind of like ran through everything you're going to do. And as a first time competitor, I mean, you can watch all the videos you want to, but it's not exactly, they don't tell you exactly what to do. You just kind of, you kind of like try and just watch it and figure it out. But yeah, for my competitors meeting, they, um, for men, men's physique, they told me exactly where to stand, uh, what they were going to do, how long I was going to be up there for, and it was just a lot of good information to know. So definitely try to make it out to your competitors meeting if you can beforehand. All right, number five is one that is going to be extremely hard to do, but if you can, I would try to do it, is get a good night's sleep before you show. For me, I mean, I had to wake up at 5.30 in the morning and drive there, but if you're staying locally, try and get a good night's sleep. It'll kind of start to mess with your head, you'll be tired, and just, it's not another thing you need to be adding to the list of things to worry about that day. So by getting a good night's sleep, you're going to be more focused, and you're just going to, you're just going to like go through the process with more energy. So try to focus on that if you can. Number six, this is something I wish I did and I didn't really know you could do, is to talk to the judges after your show. So if you plan on doing another show, then you're going to want feedback from what they said. So I'm talking as soon as your show's over, as soon as they finish the awards, run up there and get their opinions and stuff because they're going to be swamped with people. And doing this, like, I don't know, just I just didn't think to do that just because, like, they release, like, you know, pictures and stuff from the show, but... They don't really have like comments written down that you can like see exactly what they said. So it's going to be extremely beneficial if you hear their feedback and hear what they thought about you and your performance. Tip number seven is do not pump up too early. Um, so when they called us out, there was like three other classes they had in front of me and it was smaller so that everybody's just lined up. But yeah, as soon as they called us out, you know, I'd look over, I see one guy pumping up. I see another guy looking at that guy and he'd start pumping up then I'd start pumping up but problem was after we pumped up we had at least 30 minutes before we went on so doing that I mean you're still gonna be pumped up you're not gonna be like as pumped up as you could be because it's gonna start to come down so definitely kind of just kind of get your timing out right and make sure you know what you're doing and when exactly you're gonna go on before you start pumping up all right number eight is network and get to know as many people as you can backstage so a lot of people are just as nervous as you are most likely, and they're in the same boat. So for me, my show was smaller. I think there was like 60 people roughly in it. But um, backstage, there was probably 25 guys. And I mean, I was going up to all of them, you know, trying to get their Instagrams, trying to just talk to them, meet them, because, I mean, you never know who you're going to meet back there. It's always good to just kind of like reach out and make friends and just kind of like bounce off each other for different things. So 
if you can, I mean, if you're not too stressed out about it, just go ahead and talk to people and just kind of enjoy the company backstage because everybody, you know, they, everybody's got like a positive mentality about it and everybody's just trying to support each other. Yeah, it's a competition, but it's not like I'm going to beat you. It's like, you know, we all worked hard and we're up there. So let's, you know, make friends and just do this together. Number nine is don't shave the day before you show. And that was a big mistake I made. I have never shaved my armpits or my legs my entire life. And on Friday, I shaved my legs and I had bumps all up my legs. And then I shaved a little bit on my chest and just, I mean, there were bumps everywhere. <laughs> my body wasn't really used to it. So, I mean, if you've been doing it for a while, then you shouldn't have a problem. But um, definitely kind of just like, you know, get that down in advance just so you don't, every little detail counts. So you want, you don't want there to be bumps in you if you understand what I'm saying. You just, you want, you want to look as good as you can on show day. So my last tip is just have fun and embrace the moment. You work so hard to get up on that stage and I mean, it's, when you get up there, you just have this natural high and especially after when it's like, when it's over and you know, they've run through everything. It's just, you feel so good about it all. Now, whether you place or you didn't place, I mean, yeah, you're going to be affected by that, but if you didn't place, you know, use that opportunity to improve upon yourself for next time, or if you did place, just kind of, I mean, just kind of like soak it all in and enjoy it because, I mean, you literally busted and you gave up so much for three months and there's nothing quite like it out there. A lot of people don't understand like why we do it, but it's when you get up there and you have that feeling and then you know like you truly know for yourself exactly why you did this and why you went through all of this all right guys thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions about the show just go ahead and drop them below and i'll be happy to answer them for you don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe and i will see you guys next time